Good day, one and all, and welcome to the second week in AAA month. Now, this may not be a AAA game, Hydrophobia. However, it is an awesome action-adventure. One of the awesome components of this game is the engine that's been used. They have used Hydro Engine. As you can see, the water is um, simulated to an incredibly high level. And that's because they're using lots of fluid dynamics technology and to simulate all of the water. Not only that, but certain aspects of the gameplay will be affected by the water, as in whether certain fires are put out with the water or whether certain doors will fall in if there's enough pressure from the water. So that's a really nice feature of this game. And of course it stars an awesome female character who we are going to meet very shortly. So, without further ado, let us begin. A new game, are you sure? This will overwrite your existing game progress. Yes, I'm sure, let's do it. I just want normal game, please. All right, let's see what happens. Now, what are we? We are in the story-rich section of AAA games. So let's hear a bit about this story, shall we? of the global population flood and how nanocell's technology is poised to deliver a brighter future. The catastrophic effects of the population flood can be alleviated if we keep our faith in science. Mm. Our nanotechnology will one day make the deserts bloom with food for all mankind. And our effort tonight will take us one step closer to that. What about humankind? Do we only feed the men in this scenario? All right, so here we are. We're clearly in an apartment. Here's our character. Who is she? We're about to find out. Object. New object. Oh, sleeping pills. Oh, she's been taking sleeping pills. All right, well, clearly she's been having nightmares because it looks like either she was drowned or she was rescuing someone who was drowned. All right, let's wander around a bit more see what we can see. Nice. Oh, well now we have an objective. Collect the Mavi tab. We can go to our journal. Here we have it. have a database oh that's got my old um, got my achievements and medals from another game all right and that's it that's our goal is to collect a Mavi so we'll keep wandering around let's have a look up here just want to show you the game there we go We've got a nice gym bit of a relaxating space Climber's choice. Hand grips. Get a grip. All right. And what's this over here? From Jean Wilson to Kate Wilson. Kate Wilson is the name of our heroine today. Dear Katie, I just wanted to check in, really. I know you're very busy, so just get back to me when you can. All right. Nothing much to report on here. Blah, blah, blah. That's from her mum. Okay, so. Interactive experience. Not going to waste the Let's Play reading that, but that was a message from Marmy. There's a half eaten pizza. Let's see if there's anything else we can pick up. Certificate of, out of achievement for outstanding in swimming. That's very handy. 
What else? She's been sponsored. Ooh, for being awesome. Clearly I didn't pick these up last time. <laughs> but then I wasn't doing a let's play, I was just running around the place. Okay, what's this on the floor? Classical engineering. Uh -huh. Look at this, guy just through mankind's remarkable journey of engineering. I guess there were no women in engineering at that point. Do we really need to keep using the word mankind? Can we not just switch straight to humankind? You know, don't give the SJWs an inch. They'll be forcing the expression womankind upon us, and that's just as bad. Right. Inspect. Oxford University. Kate Wilson has a degree of PhD in systems engineering. Jolly splendid. Month of August, AD 2046. There we go. So now we know that we're slightly in the future. And our objective was to collect the Mavi. Right. Collect the Mavi. Where is that? I have to remember. Scoot? I might get the wrong idea if you keep calling me when you're off duty, Miss Wilson. In My system dream. just went down. Anything I should know about? The party of the century is happening on your doorstep and you're staying at home. I'm gonna check on the network. You know I don't pay overtime, right? Okay. So. There you go, she's got her Mavi. Alright, fine. Hopefully they'll tell me because I've forgotten all the um, commands. <laughs> Alrighto, exit the apartment. Let's do that. Cutscene. Welcome on board the Queen of the World. Celebrating ten auspicious years at sea. Please stand clear. Shuttle arriving at station. Kate, listen. Your system failing hardly amounts to a security threat. Just let other people do their jobs for a change. Well, there's no harm in checking, is there, Scoot? Fine, fine. Look, I'm too busy to argue with you. Where are you? I'm just by the uh, security post in Diesel. Diesel. What are you doing down there? I'm working so that you can have the night off. Scoot, I don't need a night off. <gasps> what? Explosion imminent. Three, two, one. Maybe Jenny was the girl in the um, opening thing. Scoot, uh, is that you? Of course it's me. Are you okay? Can you move? I think so. Well, now would be a good time. <gasps> badoing, badoing. There's some nice action. Jesus, where am I? The hull is breached. A deck is flooding. Oh. A deck. My what am goodness. I doing on A deck? Escape. It's telling us we need to head over here, and we are currently here. All right. Jesus. Who did this? Oops. How the hell should I know? Dude, 
it's falling from the thing. <laughs> Shit! Skew! My security level has been reset! I'm trapped down here! Oops! Oh crap! Somebody's breached the network! The security system's down! You'll have to hack back in. I can't! My Mavi programs have been wiped! I'll need a new hack module! Okay, scanning. There's a console on the level above. Uploading now. Uh -huh. Hang on. How could they hack the system without us knowing? They couldn't. Mm -hmm. That's what worries me. Mm-hmm. All right. Sounds like you've got someone on the inside. So, he said level above plaza security. That's this way. Right. Download the hack program from the central console. Central console's red. Officer, I need to use that console. Hey! Hey, guy! Woo! Oh, he's dead! Yates is dead! What? The monitors! There's some kind of sick message! It's being broadcast all over the ship. I'll look into it. Just get the hack program and get the hell out of there. Get the heck fire out of there. Alright. This one? No. Oh, something on the floor. Briefing. I know I promised you downtime for the celebrations, but you know that duty to our ship comes first. Alright, so... There we go. Watch out for anything suspicious. Interact with this? No. Use this. All right. When the user does not possess the correct frequency key, they can attempt to manually override a system firewall with this module. Super duper. Okay. Okay, I've got it. We're gonna have to hack back into our own system. It's the only way to regain your security access. Now get the security control. It's back past the elevators. All right. Back past the elevators. So this away. Oh, I remember there were things to... Yes, there were things to, to collect around here. Let's collect them. Okay, another document. Yeah. And this thing here. This thing here. No! Pull into another cutscene. Oh, wait a second. It's red now. Uh, blue now. What is that? What are you talking about? Eight. Eight. Easy. Oh shit, take run. Kate. Damn it. I'm all right, Sku. I'm okay. Ah, the door won't open. I can't get out. The access circuits are fried. You'll have to hack the emergency release. Damn! I can't get to it! Is there another way around? Is there another way around? The question on everyone's lips. Well, let's pick up this object. Modelled in meticulous detail, this 100% stainless steel replica of the Queen of the World, which is the ship that we're on, has been specially commissioned for the celebrations. Okay, so we'll keep that. Progress to deliver... To deliver hope for all mankind. The women can't have any hope, but the men can. Right. Alright, well this is the perfect place to end this episode. So, on that bombshell, I shall bid you a fun farewell and a tally-ho.